Julia Okujax. And Julia Okujax. Welcome. And this is Brandy. Jax. Welcome. You know, I've been trying to figure out how many things I feel that I can't remember. I was speaking with my colleagues and they, they asked me, oh, what did you feel that 15 years ago? I'm like, oh my goodness. What did I feel that? I feel that many things. I feel five years ago, yesterday, you know, I feel like keeping my temper sometimes, you know, especially when um, things you want done and not done the right thing. Um, I believe that um, about 16 years ago, I moved into a new environment and I failed at adjusting to that new environment. I kept wanting to take the elements of the old environment into this new space. And it's just, it was just a different vibe. And that's when I realized that different cities, different spaces have their own brand, um, vibes. I'd say that, um, yeah, their own, their own brands as well. Everything has their own brand and you can't expect, you can't expect um, a soft drink to be an alcoholic drink, you know? You can't expect something that's bright and heady to be exactly the same or give you the same energy as somewhere which is sleepy and this is what i feel that i feel that understanding how to adjust properly and then um, the other things i feel that um, being a parent is a very difficult thing to be and then um, many times i know i have failed i have not done exactly what i would have done and i have um, a child who does not fail to tell me, uh uh, you didn't do well in that, you know. And then um, initially, I used to take it really hard like, what do you mean? I'm really trying my best, and I was trying my best, but then trying your best for who? Was I trying my best for me, or was I talking in the best interest of the child? Was I acting in the best interest of the child? So, failure is an interesting thing. Failure is something that you really need to take um, note of especially your responses, your reaction to why you failed. There's a proverb that says, um, I don't know, I think it's a Yoruba proverb, but I can't say it in Yoruba, just because I, I can't say it fluently. They say it's from where you fall that you hold the ground and stand up. So that is how I have come to see failure. Not as an indictment of myself, but where I can see, oh, this is where I stumbled. This is where I stepped into a pothole. This is where I hit the speed bump really hard. Or this is where I failed to hit my brakes. This is where I failed to learn. Oh yeah, I failed at keeping friendships as well. I don't know if I'm the only one on this table, but I have failed at keeping friendships. You know, because sometimes when things are happening to me, I just go into my cave and I don't really want to talk to people like that. So yeah, I feel that time. I find myself going back to saying, really sorry, you know? <laughs> Until I, had, I had to tell myself, you know, Julia, stop being sorry. Just explain to people you're going through. And when you finish going through, or maybe when you're ready to come out of the great cave, you can explain to them that, okay, I'm out there. Hopefully they'll be there with you. So why is failure important for us as people who, personal brands and people who are building our own brands? It's important because you will not get everything right all the time. Let me, let me say it again. You and I will not get everything right at the same time. It's going to hurt. It's going to make you sit back and think. It's going to make you question yourself. Sometimes you'll doubt yourself. But what I'm here to tell you is that you are not alone. You will have to sit down, learn from the failure. Write it down. And sometimes we fail at the same thing over and over and over again. And then they say, oh, it's a pattern, it's a curse, it's a this. It is not. Sit down and look at it. Why is it happening? Why is it happening over and over? What is your role in that particular scenario? And when you've fallen enough times and planted your face in the mud enough times, get up. Put your hands on the ground and lift yourself up. Wash the mud off your face. And let me assure you of this. Mm. You may think that people are watching, but they're not really watching. And they're not watching to, to laugh at you. There's a time I felt that they... <laughs> at the local airport where I stay. I I just I, I was looking at something, I wasn't paying attention. I was on the tarmac and my heel caught in one of those grooves they had on the tarmac and I fell and this was a real spectacular fall. Like I sprawled my 
<laughs> oh my goodness, my bag went one way, the contents of the bag went a different way, and I was lying there in the middle, hoping that everybody coming behind me, I just kind of pulled my skirt down, hoping that everybody coming behind me would just walk past. But two gentlemen, God bless their souls, just came, put my <laughs> things from my bag into the bag, and held each side of me and lifted me. And he said, Madam, are you okay? I said, I'll be okay. Please give me my shoes because my shoes are not so come up. So they gave me my shoes. I said, Madam, can you walk to the um, arrival hall? I said, Yes, I can. And I was so I felt so ashamed. But guess what? I went to the arrival hall and nobody was looking at me. Nobody was booing or hooting at me. And sometimes we feel that people are just waiting to drag us or laugh at us. Maybe they are. Does it matter? Because most times they're not. It's we that we're laughing at ourselves. It's we that feel that shame. When you're building a brand, a personal brand or a business brand, believe me, failure is not an option because you will fail at something. No matter whatever they tell you, no matter what they tell you, you'll fail at something and you'll feel the pain of failing. After you feel that pain, go wash your face, put on your makeup, you'll be good. Trust me. Learn the lessons and you'll be good. Don't repeat them. It's not a curse. Just a pattern that you have to change. So, fail or fail, as John C. Maxwell said, fail forward. I hope this has been useful to you. It has been to me. I'm still learning. But don't go for stopping at the airport and jumping off and saying, I want to learn this how to fail because Julia did it. Nah, I'm not going to do that again. You know. So, take care and um, until next week. I hope this has been useful to you. See you with the next edition of Branded and um, we will end Branded sometime the third week of um, December so you can take a break and you can also take a break or you can always go to our YouTube channel and watch what you haven't seen before or maybe refresh your minds. Take care and um, enjoy your day.